I know you're not a big sports person. Yeah. And that's fine. You don't have to be. This is sports related, but I think there's a lot of value, a lot of history here. Um, pertains also to the modeling industry to a point. Okay. Now, what I'm offering you today, I'm going to save you <coughs> the, the history behind it. I'm sure you can imagine. But I'm giving you probably the most valuable thing in this entire deck. I'm giving you Tom Brady's cock ring. <gasps> now, Tom Brady is probably one of the greatest athletes of all time. Okay. This yeah. dude is old as dirt. He is a goddamn champion winning, I don't even know how many, like 10 Super Bowls or some shit like that. He is arguably one of the greatest football players of all time and in the running for one of the greatest athletes of all time. Now, you can imagine the kind of work a cock ring from this man would have gotten. You can only begin to, to visualize the number of whores that this ran through. Also, his wife, Giselle Bunchen, is a very famous model. Mm -hmm. Both of their DNA is on this cock ring. <laughs> that Amazing. Essence. So, do with this what you will. I'm sure this would fetch a, an amazing price in oh. Massachusetts. For sure. Or an amazing price from some very, very, very lonely men. That is a good... You got a point. I could sell that for a lot of money. This dude's got more Super Bowl rings than he does cock rings. <laughs> Almost. And he's got a lot of cock rings, people. Yeah, he does. It's a limited edition. It's a one of a limited kind. Edition. Wow. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. Oh. Signed by him. No good. I was wondering about that. Yeah. You get that too. Sure that also proud. has his autograph on there, so yeah. remember that. Even more. Even more that I can tell. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Mm. I agree. Well, it's like that used panties thing. Right. But a used cock ring from Tom Brady. Nice. <laughs> or if you're feeling just humanitarian about it. I'm sure there's a lot of museums that would that would have this. <coughs> Definitely wouldn't pay you at all. But that's fine. That's a piece of history. Piece of now history. What, uh, you know, oh, I guess I'll save it for my rebuttal. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little a little gross. Use cock ring. Hundreds of whores. And then he used it on his wife. The Ooh, DNA. Man. Yeah, it was probably mixed. He used it on a hundreds of whores and then he used it on his wife. I would be pissed All if the I was his wife. I'm like, on this. you made how much money and you couldn't buy a new cock ring? He's like, well, I'm like trying to sell it online and it's this whole thing. And <laughs> I'm going to give it to my buddy Red. He's going <laughs> to try to sell it to somebody. <laughs> oh, man. How terrible. Okay. Aubrey, you're one of the most fashionable, peop fashionable people I know. Oh, thank you. Now, this also doesn't help because I mainly know dudes. And look at Red over here. He, he wouldn't know fashion if it was a fashion truck and it ran him over. No. Um, but, why didn't you got to swivel. <coughs> there we go. I'm like, why is she still ever? I keep I? moving the camera. I'm like, why is she out of frame? Anyway, there we go. <laughs> uh, you're very fashionable. Okay. Now, as you know with fashion, you have to make a statement. Of course. Okay. And usually you have to be first. The biggest thing is, is you got to do something before anybody else does it. And that's what gets you recognized. Mm -hmm. That's what gets you your own fashion line. That's what gets you your own swimsuit line. It's just one big idea. Okay. Right. That gets your name out there. And then they're like, oh, shit. They want to put your fucking name on everything and it just sells. And you can be like one of the Kardashians, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. So here's what I'm offering you. No one has this. Okay. We live out here in Arizona. It's, eh, we like to think it. It's not really anymore, but we like to think it's like the old West still. Right. It's the wild West. We, you know, people like to still wear cowboy boots and, you know, walk around, which makes sense. It's, there's a lot of dirt and shit out here. So what I have 
is some top of the line designer boots. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very fashionable, highest quality material. Nobody has these things. And on the back of these boots is a little spring doorstop. Right? Like what's on the end of the, the doors to stop <laughs> the doors from hitting it. All right. So uh, instead of like your traditional spurs, like those right. little metal wheels, in the back you have instead of spurs, you have door stops. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> and they uh they they do kind of make noises <laughs> and kind of spring a little bit when you walk. Um, but it's a fashion statement, right? Of course. Everyone's going to notice those things. Now, think about it. Someone goes to open a door or something behind you, and it's going to hit you. No, you just turn your heel. It's going to stop. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, okay? No one's going to hit you with a door ever again, right? Very safety-oriented. Uh, um, and then the other thing is, like I said, people are just going to hear you coming. And instead of that clinking that of you know the spurs, spurs. no, you got this nice little door stop. Soothing. <laughs> very soothing sound as you walk. Like a little cat purring yeah. everywhere you walk. It, it, you know, it's that way your boots really aren't clumping. You know, it, it's it's really what the door stops do is it takes that that real, that impact. You know how Nike, they have like that air sole yeah. in there? It's like that. It's basically, I don't know how, I don't know the science behind it, but like basically it makes your, your you know, your, your step softer. It really cushions like the it. blow. It takes all the vibration out of your heel and just puts it into that little, you know, springy door stop in the end. When you walk and it's, you know, everyone is going to turn their head and be like, where the fuck did she get those? Those are nice boots. And mm-hmm. then, you know, she's got some she door, got stops door stops on the back. On those? Holy I mean, shit. dude, you're going to be huge. Where'd you get those door stop boots? <laughs> huge. That's that's pretty awesome. That would be nice to just everyone would hear me coming. Yeah. Never get hit by a door again. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> Always get hit by doors. Yeah, because you're, you're Plus, just a little bit with. better than a ninja. They can't see you. If you're ever bored, oh look, oh look at my boot. Yeah, you spring it <laughs> all day. You're gonna be hit with animals. Oh yeah. Yeah, cats are gonna love you. You don't even have to kick the horse. You just yeah, flick it, and they're like, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it's time a lot, to go. I guess it's a lot nicer on the horse too. So yeah. instead of like poking Plus them with these spurs, yeah. yeah, instead of poking them with these rough spurs, you got you this soft little rubber the tip. Sound. You get them the little, you know. If it's safe for your walls, it's safe for your horse. Come on, people. Absolutely. This is this is basic logic here, one on one. So I, I've got a few problems with this. Um, <laughs> I'd love to hear. Main one is just how generally impractical it is. I mean, you got to think you, you you have a hundred different pairs of shoes of all varying sizes. Of course. Now, all of those have the same footprint, right? Pun intended. Right. Where you, you're used to a certain way of life where you're walking around, you, you're conscious of your own body and where you are in space. It's called proprioception. Okay. Now, having shoes that extend your footprint well beyond where you're at before, you're going to just be knocking shit over. You're going to be hitting shit all the time when you don't want to. Not to mention that to get rid of that, to you know unscrew the little end of the spring and put a shorter one on you're sacrificing all the things that make it so great so it's either you are a springy mess knocking shit over and making people annoyed or it's just a weird little antenna you got on the back of your shoes it was like why does she have like a weird metal nipple on the back of the shoes what's going on so beyond that we also need to remember that horses are very large creatures. Right. A little horse. little tiny little roll of some spiky metal along their back leg isn't going to like hurt them or anything. It just lets them know, oh, shit, we're going. Okay. We're going. It's, it's not like they're cutting <laughs> these horses up. Green like, means go. Green means go. If you really want to make noise when you move around with cowboy boots, just put normal spurs on. You'll get respect from horse girls all over the place, and it's going to be way more practical. The... Loss in stealth you get in either case, I think, makes it the worst. Being able to walk around and not have everybody know where you're going, that's oh. just choice whenever you can. So I know that you probably wouldn't do a whole lot with Tom Brady's cock ring, but I think that that is as unintrusive to your life as getting those shoes and never wearing them. Okay. I can see it. I do sometimes. They do scare the shit out of me when I open a door and then that <laughs> like really loud. I'm like holy shit immediately grab it try to make it stop freaks me out 
I could see that getting annoying after a while, especially if, you know, my fancy boots are just causing distractions everywhere, knocking <laughs> stuff over, <laughs> kicking things, and hitting people with my little dangles, whatever they're called. <laughs> dangles. Little door dangles. Door stops. Little door stops. Door dicks, whatever door they are. Door dicks. Yeah. I like that. That There should be a brand of them called door, door dicks. dicks. <laughs> That's what they look like. Little door dicks. With the softest tips you'll find. Uh-huh. I love it. <laughs> I can see that. I mean... I definitely think I'd get a lot of, you know, good money on eBay from sure. Tom Brady's cock ring. Oh. So I could I Listen, see the pros and cons. You do not want Tom Brady's cock ring. That's gross. It Listen, is a little gross. How many whores? You you would have to like get like fucking <laughs> like tongs gloves and tongs and like, uh, like hazmat, yeah. yeah. I mean <sighs> I mean, it ha- he's saying over here it's not practical, all right? M- his isn't practical, all right? You don't even have a cock, not that I'm aware of, right? You I can't even wear the cock ring, I just right? Feel, what am I supposed to do, look at it? Right. B- uh, the best you can do is put it, on, like you said, on eBay and hope somebody else wants to wear this stupid mm-hmm. thing. Like, I, it, it's, uh, listen... I'm offering you a chance to have your own fashion line, your own statement. I mean, you are going to literally uh, fucking kick down doors with this fucking thing. And when those doors swing back, they are not going to hit you because you got the fucking boots on for that shit. I got right? the door dicks to stop you them. You do. Fuck yeah, you do. And, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it, it, you got actual dicks in my scenario so i solved your dick problem there you go you're like you know what i may not have an actual dick to wear tom brady's cock ring but i got some sweet door dicks Mm -hmm. you know so we've solved we've solved the dick issue it's you don't the best you could hope for is making rhett wear it and, and hope me. I mean, what is that like? I weird cuckolding fa- fantasy? Go, <laughs> yeah, where it right. You know, you're never gonna be anything like Tom Brady. I'm the champion. <laughs> he's over there, like, come on, Tom Brady. Like, uh, yeah, I'm a champion too. I could do it. Like, leech into me. He's like, put on the ring, like Lord of the Rings. Like, I'm the one. <laughs> I like it. A lot of pros and cons to both. I can see the issues, and I can see the. The great benefits of both. I think just because I can imagine it in my head of me walking down the street and someone looking at me be like, what the fuck are you wearing? I would turn so many heads and I'd be like, oh, these are my door dick boots. Like, You get to strut in them. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know you're fucking jealous because you've never seen anything yeah. like that. You can't get them except for me. I think I'm going to go with the, the door dick boots. Hell yeah. I think they would be What's hilarious up? to walk around the street and hearing that shit all the time. Dude, like I already like I already know exactly what I'm writing down. Door dick boots. Door dick boots. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I see the thank you? Fucking A. Awesome. Hell yeah. 